Lori, congratulations. You've been a comforting voice for so long there in South Florida. I know your colleagues at WPLG will miss you. We will miss you. But most of all, the South Florida community will miss you every night. I have a feeling you're going to be a big part of that community for many years to come. You are so committed. So we thank you and thank your twin boys for sharing their mom with the rest of us for so long. Congratulations. We'll miss you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Last time I saw him was when the Pope came for his first U.S. tour. You yeah. were in Cuba. Yeah. I was in New York, Philly, and D.C. That's with right. David. Yeah. Wow. Simply beautiful words from our friend David. Really Miller, nice. Of course, yes. And tonight, of course, we continue our countdown to Lori's farewell from Ohio to South Florida and many places in between. Lori's illustrious career has spanned three decades with incredible experiences along the way. And tonight we share the story of how you found your way <laughs> into this crazy business we call TV news and she never looked back. Growing up, Lori's passion to perform propelled her onto the stage, singing and acting from childhood through her teen years. By high school, I was the lead of every high school play. People were telling me, forget college, go to Broadway. Fortunately for us, Lori did not follow that advice, choosing instead to go to Cornell. And the next thing you know, I saw this microphone to come get trained as a radio DJ or a newscaster. And I just found my way with the newscasting. I just loved it. I loved writing, I loved current events. And for me, it was the right combination of the writer in me and the performer in me. After getting her master's in journalism, Lori landed her first full-time position in television news. This was my first promotional shot at my first real professional TV station in Youngstown, Ohio, WKBN. Two years later, she was on the move to a major TV market, Cleveland, Ohio. I was morning anchor, I was weekend anchor, I was their specials reporter. Lori landed her first major stories in Cleveland, traveling across the country and the globe. Lori at the scene of Bloody Sunday in Derry, Northern Ireland, January 1998 long time ago. From Cleveland to Boston, Miami, and New York, Lori built a name as an anchor. And supplies all came through MediShare. Ultimately getting the top spot at Local 10 in 2004. But the Globetrotting started all over again. My very first big trip when I came to Channel 10 was Rome. I'm Lori Jennings. She was there for the passing of Pope John Paul II and the installation of Pope Benedict. We flew in, we made it in just in time. We got to this location. I swear within an hour and 15 minutes of landing in Rome, we were live on the air and I anchored an entire Saturday morning newscast for about two hours live from the Vatican. Rome was followed by a journey to Switzerland to cover Art Basel. Then a heartbreaking trip to join me in Haiti following the 2010 earthquake. My tears started flowing seconds after I walked into this place. It was here that viewers witnessed Lori's emotional side. I've never cried like that on the air. I mean, oh, I just remember the tears were pouring down my face. I went in when all the infections were starting and all the people had been suffering with no food and no roofs over their heads for 10 days. It was just by far the most intense, intense human struggling that I'd ever seen. The longest and farthest trip she ever took. This is the first of three days where Nelson Mandela's body is lying in state for all to visit it. Was to South Africa to cover the death of Nelson Mandela. Just my chief photographer and me, and we reported live, we did entire newscast live, and it was just a really powerful, powerful trip. Her work has been rewarded with many honors, six Emmy Awards, numerous Best Anchor distinctions. As she gets ready to step away from the adrenaline rush that drew her in, Lori reflects on what she'll miss the most. Good evening, I'm Lori Jennings. You just know that Every single person in this room, in this building, is on fire and they're all working together. And when we all have that synergy and we're here, that's what's magic. I'll miss that. Wow. And that includes you guys, the synergy. Wow, yeah. We all get going, especially major breaking news, hurricanes, God forbid, <laughs> other times when our yeah. community needs us. That's, that's hard and, not to And on my end, there is, you know, from sports, it's kind of the fun angle, but you were part, and we were part of the coverages of three championships with oh, the Heat. We had so much fun right, of those right, parades. We yeah, never got to cover that. a Dolphin Super Bowl, which is a regret. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Maybe they'll get one soon, and we'll come back for that. But the Dolphins still love the oh effort. Oh, my, my God. goodness. I promised you nice. yesterday that more teams wow. were This is the Dolphins, the 19 for 2019 to recognize your final year in the business. Oh, love it. Gosh, but look at that. It's got the frame in the bottom with the with Oh, the, my gosh. This is 2019. Yeah. Lori Jennings 
Dolphins, WPLG Local 10 News, wishing you all the best for the future of the Miami wow. Dolphins. So thank wow. you to the Dolphins. And again, the Dolphins, just like the Heat, and the other team said, no, we, we know the work Lori's done. We respect her so much. We want to give her a memento, not just throw oh. a jersey in a bag. We want it framed and wow. put it there for, thank you know, you. I'm sure the thank boys you. will love it. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely stunning. I know my boys are thinking, no, they're like, wow, this Mom. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to find a place to put all this stuff. Like huh? the Heat, like the heat <laughs> one, I'll save it for now in my room. <laughs> I'll bring it soon. I'll bring thank it you. Soon. Thank you. Thank you. That's really awesome. Much. Okay, let's check it out with our Betty Davis and find out how the night is looking for if we decide to eat out again.